Wolf Outdoor Review here. Today I'm going to be going over my Woodland ACH slash Mitch 2000 style helmet. Um, originally this was used primarily from 2000 to 2006 when Woodland, MED1 Woodland was phased out for in favor of ACU slash UCP, which is Universal Camouflage Pattern. And um, that is known as the digital stuff. It's the stuff no one wants anymore, essentially. Um, so this is my rendition of what a uh, special forces slash, I guess, normal soldier would look like in 2005 for the helmets, because eventually Pascat, personal armor, ground troops, I think. I did a video on one of the Pascat helmets, but this is, I traded that helmet in and got this. Um, so, yeah. So this helmet, I uh, bought a bunch of stuff, but I had the helmet cover, the uh, stream light thing, and everything else was new for it. So essentially I got the uh, helmet part and the helmet cover and everything else I added. So this is my uh, rendition of what a 2006 soldier would look like. So I'd assume beginning of the Iraq war. Or Afghanistan, or War on Terror. Um, so this is what my helmet looks like. So do a quick turn around. Okay, so that's the 360 of the helmet. And the top, the helmet's cover was kind of damaged when I bought it. But I like it, it makes it look worn. And on the inside. So that's the uh, helmet. So, and that's not important. Um, so this is the... Originally this was a digital camo era aged ACH helmets, but... Once you put all this stuff on, it becomes a Mitch helmet. Which was an earlier version of the ACH that was primarily used with this camouflage stuff. Um, so we're going to start off by... Uh, I did a 360, but... Um, so these are... We'll go over the parts to this. These are goggle retention straps. These are the cat eyes. This is a MSA... Woodland helmet cover. These are, um, this is the uh, H style goggle or helmet retention chin strap. So, and this is in uh, OD green and desert tan. I've got some MSA black pads in there. And these are ESS. Profile NVG goggles, and the helmet itself is a. Uh, not sure. Let's see. Um, the helmet itself is a helmet, advanced combat lightweight. Medium, so this is a more modern helmet, but I wanted, I wasn't going to spend $300 for an MSA Mitch branded helmet. So this is a current -er helmet. It's by Armor Source LLC. And if you want to know the NSN number for that, it's 8470-01-600-8107. So that's all the information about it. Um, so, and here's... These. This is the pads I'm using. Here's a better one. And the innocent number for that is eight four seven zero dash o two dash five o six. I believe. Um, can't read, it's kind of faded. And 
and I'm not sure if that's continuation or not, but yeah, that's the pads. So they just push on in here. Uh, most of the stuff I got on eBay for a reasonable price, with the exception of the uh, helmet itself and the helmet cover in this streamlight holder. The helmet cover and this streamlight I already had just sitting around. I didn't know that this was for ACH. I thought it was for Pascat. Ended up buying it and it didn't fit. So then when I decided to upgrade, I realized, hey, it fits. So that's what that's about. And um, I did a previous video on the uh, Streamlight Sidewinder Compact 2 and Streamlight Sidewinder Normal uh, L-angled flashlight. So this is the uh, mount that I got with mine instead of the Pascat mount. So it all worked out. So now this mounts on there. Rotates and that's... Here's the side profile, what that would look like. So, to turn it on, rotate, fan out. All the way to the back. Flip it around so you can decide which way you want it. Then you push it and up to take it off. And then as for the normal one, same deal. You push in. You can wear this as a normal one. And of course with this one you can go more towards like that. This one's kind of annoying, because size. But, it's possible. I like to use it as a, uh, normal flashlight, not as a helmet light. But if this is all you have, this is a great option. Because this gets extremely bright. As you can see, very bright. Just get a continuous light one fixed location with this. And yeah. Okay. Now let's dip, get down to the helmet. Um, so these are goggle retentions. Bands. You can find these looking up goggle retention OD green on eBay. I think I paid $8.50 8 for these part. Um, here are the ESS goggles that I have. Um, these came with both a uh, white and a, uh, or a clear and a uh, sunglasses lens. I just have the sunglasses lens on. Yep, so here they are, ESS. And this, you can see, does a pretty good job. I'll turn that on. Not as bright, so. That's what these are, um, yeah. At the end of this, I'll put on the helmet and show you it. Um, so that's the goggles. And they have some cat eyes I got on eBay. I think I paid six bucks for these. They have the last name of a soldier written on them, Walters. Um, yeah. So this part was for some sort of headset thing that the army never fielded. At the time, so that's kind of not. We just pretend that's not there. Of course, you could fit something in there like a map, or I don't know, a piece of paper. Who knows? Whatever you want. So these are attached in here via the back screws that hold on this part. Screws are long enough to put on that too. So, yeah. And this is just fastened on like that, in case you're wondering. There's a, I'll do a video, or actually I'll do it now. So, how to put that on. Let me grab my screwdriver. There it is. Here it is. Right. Oh, I found my screwdriver. So, if you want to take this on or off, what you do is pull, unscrew both bolts from here until they're reasonably loose. And this is, I guess, comparable to the uh, 
surefire lights, except I like this one better because the surefires seem kind of cheap to me. And then the, this part comes off. You're left with the Y looking thing, and that just slides on and off. Or if you want it, then you take this piece and you push it, and it, it'll naturally want to fall into place like that. And then you just screw it in. But for now, we're taking it off. So that is the stream light mount, as you saw. Um, so that is. Then from there we have this. I don't really know the uh, too much about this, except this is what it's known as. Strap chin re retention size all, and the NSN number for that is 8470-01-476-2605. Uh, I believe this is an appropriate era. I've seen these in black for this particular helmet and in this color. So, this is the one I went with, since black seems less camouflaged. And, um, yeah, so that uh, clicks in and out. Um, and these are the cat eyes. It says band. Um, I'm not sure. But, yep, cat eyes. So these glow in the dark. So, so, I've heard a lot of people want question if these are reflective or glow in the dark. They are glow in the dark. So, and they don't grow like glow like crazy like the uh, Kamanga compasses, which are actually very bright. But if you want to charge this up, you just hold a light on them for a few seconds, and they glow real fun. So that's nice for nighttime things when you want to stay in single file or know where your and friendly teammates are. So that's what they're for. Um, I already went over all this. Um, I'm going to be right back. I have, and I'll show you the NSN number for that. So I have to go get that, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, I grabbed the packaging for these goggle retention bands. These, this is the, all the information about them. This is what they came in. It says strap retention eye, one pair. And that appears the NSN number, so NSN number is 8470-01-487-1605. And these were created in October of 2004, I believe, if that's what that means, uh, which I assume it is. And along with the fitting an ACH, these things are designed to fit a PSA GT, or PASGAT helmet. So, included with mine was a washer for Pazgat helmet. So, 8470-01-144-2812. And so these essentially take the uh, little hole that comes in here and makes it smaller so you can fit this on the back of a PS PSA GT helmet. So that you can do the same thing here, but with it, that. I don't think many people realize that you can actually do put these goggle retention bands on a PSA GT helmet. So you can definitely do that. And um, yeah. So, like I said, if you look up um, goggle retention strap OD on eBay, you can buy this exact one I got. And it'll come with these and that. This is, comes from there. Because. Normal screws on an ACH helmet have these on them, but I didn't know if I'd have room to put these on it. And I figured that because of this, there's going to be like two pieces of fabric in between the helmet. So there's no need to have a uh, protective washer anymore since two pieces of fabric are sandwiching that Kevlar. So the uh, helmet's protected and can't get dinged around with the screw anymore. So that's what that's about. Um, so, I'm going to hold these up one more time, so if you want to buy one of these, I believe you can get these in tan, coyote brown, foliage green, od green, and I think that's, and desert tan. So, that's the NSN 8470. This is known as washer for Pascat helmet. 
and there's two in each, and you'd think, oh, it only comes with one. No, it comes with two, but it's weird because they package it separately. So, you get two for each one of this. These, so, if you buy them, from, you will get two included. And you can always throw these away if you're using an ACH, or keep them and sell them, I don't know. All I know is these are, yeah, so you can put this on a passage gate. PSAGT. And then use this one one more time. In case you're wondering. And yeah. So that's that. Um, then we have the ESS goggles. They don't appear, these don't appear to have a NSN number or anything printed on them. So, only thing it says is right and left. Let's see. I'll keep looking, though. Yeah, I don't see anything at all about numbers. Okay, we found, I found something. It says Z, E, Seven and then whatever that symbol is. And then I would assume maybe the other side says something. Nope. So other than that, these have no markings on the anywhere on them, so I can tell. So I can't tell you the NSN number for these. All I can tell you is if you look up ESS Profile NVG goggles, black, you should find these. If not, look up ESS goggles, and you might stumble across these. I got these for a good deal. I don't remember how much off the top of my head. But if you're looking to buy a pair of these, you're about $30 and you can get them in condition like this, which was brand new. So, and then uh, I think I've gone over everything on the helmet, except for the uh, tag for the helmet cover. And that is known as... Back reversible helmet cover. Size medium large made in the USA by MSA. And the NSN number is unknown unknown 8470-01-487-1612. If you're interested. And of course, I'm going to put you back. There. And yeah. So... That is my ACH helmet, so I'm going to pause the video while I set it all back up, and then I'll do a 360 with different stuff on, like a patrol cap, you know, all that. So I'll be right back after I've cleaned up and put it all back together. So I'll be back. All right, I'm back. So I've put on the helmet, and I'm going to now demonstrate stuff, like how it would be worn and stuff. So here is a uh, 360 with a woodland blouse on. And now I will take the put on the goggles. And the goggle retention bands allow for this. You cannot lose your goggles. So it's those four, in case anyone was wondering. So now put my goggles on. And 
and here's them on top of the, of the covering. Now I will put on the uh, Meek Incorporated Meek Ink Neck Gator and show you what that looks like with it. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And here's the Meek Ink Neck Gator along with the ACH or Mitch 2000 helmet. And here they are with the goggles on. Okay, now I'm going to keep the uh, mess gator on, but I'm going to put the cover over the goggles. So this is what we started out with, but with that gator. Okay, now I'm going to take off the uh, goggles and leave on the cap. And here's the flashlight on. Okay, now I'm going to put on the other stream light.
the 360 hertz. adjustable. So that was my review of the uh, Mitch 2000 slash ACH helmet. So when I, I'm going to pause the video here, go back to my table, and I'll do one more debrief. I'm sorry, I forgot. I mean, I'm going to put on a patrol cap and a Polar Tech beanie underneath the helmet and show you what those look like. So I'll be back. Okay, so here's what a patrol cap underneath the ACH helmet looks like. Next up, first of all, I'm going to show you the hat in general. So this is just, this is the cold weather one. So I will now put down your flaps. Do it again. Okay. Next, I will put on a Polar Tech black cap. Here's the tag for this if you're interested. It's loading. focused up there. So here's the head on normally. And now the helmet. So this is great because you can fit all this stuff underneath this helmet. So it's kind of cold out. Cold wet, airsoft, or milsim, paintball. So you can tailor this to whatever temperature it is. Next, I will put on the wool head over scarf in OD green. Alright, I'm going to come back with the uh, wool. Head over next to the plane. If you want to learn more about this, there's a video posted about this under cold by cold weather gear.
Right, and now I'm going to put on a woodland helmet liner underneath this. This was used during the past yeah, era. Scan and one helmet. Now I'm going to see if it works. Mitch. Okay, it doesn't really want to fasten, but here it is. So if you can make it work, you can. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Consider subscribing, commenting, sharing, and liking. I will respond to every single comment I get. Um, so if you have, want to see this with the Gore-Tex jacket and see if the hood will work with it, leave a comment for that and I can do that. Um, until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for keeping with this channel and helping me spread the message of military surplus. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.